Hi everyone, welcome to day 13 of What If with Hare Krishna. I don't know if you believe in numerology. I don't believe in numerology or any other superstitious things. But I can tell you, I don't know whether it was because today is the 13th day of the podcast or because of number 13, you know. Today wasn't a great day for me. Um, the day started like uh, I didn't have I didn't have a good day uh, a good night's sleep yesterday uh, because of you know uh, around afternoon and around the middle of the night I am feeling you know cough and sometimes most times uh, difficulty in terms of breathing uh, irritation of the throat and uh, things like that. Uh, I am recovered from COVID. Uh, I didn't have any, I didn't test any uh, COVID or anything, but my parents had COVID. Uh, I had fever, throat infection, uh, throat irritation and uh, issues like that. But uh, I was, uh, I got recovered from all those things. But later into that, I have seen that uh, even my parents have like cough uh, in the middle of the night and all. So it's kind of a common pattern I'm seeing with everyone who got uh, infected with uh, the COVID virus. Anyway, um, so I didn't have any good night's sleep yesterday and so I slept into the morning like up until 8 a.m. I, I had to sleep because you know it's just otherwise you know, I will be sleeping like three hours or three and a half, three and a half hours. So it was that bad. Um, so I woke up at 8 a.m. and uh, you know since I'm, I have been allocated to a new project uh, I am having uh, different meeting schedules and anyway, uh, 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 things like that. So in the morning at 10.15, I have my daily stand-up calls and uh, um, in the evening there will be another meeting. Uh, in the middle there will be different tasks that I have to do. So since I have been just allocated into this project, um, I'm not having any real task, but uh, I'm going through a knowledge transfer uh, 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 sessions. Uh, at the moment, uh, so I'm I'm just uh, uh, you know having meetings with other team members and understanding what they're doing and understand different parts of the project. Um, so I the the new project that I'm into is in a is an application support team. Um, thing about application support is that uh, support is important because you know things can fail. Uh, in the back end and there are so many uh, complex things related to that but anyway the thing is that uh, if you are in a support team um, several incidents can happen uh, and all those things has to be resolved on time uh, otherwise you know it will be going on and on and on and it will be causing lots of uh, 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 unwanted uh, losses to the company and all um, and also the end users will not be having uh, will not be having what they should be allowed to see uh, so this the job is very risky and also I will be having uh, they will be the, the team will have a high uh, responsibility uh, in order to resolve the incidents and issues and tickets and all that and also you cannot just say that oh I work from this time to this time no um, so most of my team members are like working day, uh, late into the nights right like 10 11 p.m um, and also once in a month on rotation uh, they will be having uh, like night shift also uh, and they also have to work in the morning as well so it's kind of a situation is like that um, i don't want to say anything much um, i'm not saying all these are negative things or anything but, but there are you know there are really really honest hard-working people in there and what they're doing is absolutely important and a very important job but I don't see myself in that team um, like uh, because my aspirations as a person is different at the moment um, but I will be absolutely honest with the job uh, as long as I will be here so there is one part and there's other part that I am trying to improve myself as a person in terms of my skills and my long-term ambition of becoming a machine learning engineer. And uh, you know, I said that in the last uh, yesterday's episode or uh, day day before yesterday 
that I will be doing a hundred days of code but it's been two days I haven't started I didn't do anything other than you know just focusing on the job now uh, that's just because I didn't spend the time in the morning uh, so after the morning towards the night you will be having work uh, today I had like a six hours of meeting just continuous meeting meeting in the sense I will be looking into what others will be doing and they'll be sharing the screens and things like that so I can't just you know go in the middle of my work to do my other things no that's not my part of my code of conduct and uh, anything like that so I won't be doing that I should not be doing that uh, so I didn't do it so towards the end of the night uh, I have to go to sleep because you know you have still have a day again tomorrow uh, but you should go to sleep with the hope that you will come back again uh, for the past two days I wanted to wake up early and uh, work on the days of code and start doing that but it didn't happen uh, okay that's fine right you will be presented with problems all the time but the thing is you should not get complacent with whatever that you're given um, and you should always be trying and should be hopeful that you will rise again you're open to fail but you will rise again that's what i said uh, in my yesterday's episode right uh, with the Conor McGregor thing that uh, there's a guy who was beaten multiple times but he always comes back he always comes back so I have great admiration to that sort of personal quality that's also what, I'm, what I want to do establish in my life also because I'm not a perfect person I'm not a person who have the knowledge to do everything and to be successful in whatever that I'm into no I'm open to failures and everybody anybody any human should be open to a failure because we are all having one thing in common called life so life will present with you multiple problems and issues but you should be okay with it but not to get complacent but always use that as a motivation to to always come at it again like always rise again and uh, go about those problems and solve those problems and take on new problems new challenges so tomorrow I will try my best not just try my best I have I'm just hopeful that I'm actually feeling okay at the moment I'm feeling healthy I'm feeling uh, not any cough or throat issues at the moment so I'm hope, hopeful that I will be having a good sleep today um, and uh, we will see that uh, we'll see tomorrow morning I will be on my day one of our days of court and um, and some days I'm not saying that uh, you you should be like making sure that you get enough sleep no the thing is that you you can try to establish irregularity in your sleep patterns and all but I understand that anyone who is listen should understand that uh, there are moments in your life days in your life where you go to go through that pain and suffer it is not only going to make you strong but it will make you it will improve not just your skill level or anything but as a mentality your mentality your mindset um, all those things that are important um, generally in life itself right so you should be open to things like that um, so I am I'm open to uh, what I will say um, I'm open to even I will be having horrendous task or um, really really hard working situations and I'm open to those situations very much um, and uh, I'm willing to sometimes not to be like you know I got to be having sleep or I should be doing this I should need time to you know work on these things but you should be open to add just a little bit but the thing is you have enough time in a day and identify or oh, this is the part that you are spending to do the work and this is the part that you are wasting on whatever so make use of that try to try to find that time for to work on yourself and uh, you cannot complain like you don't have time of course you'll be having like very much tough task and 
too many things going on in life. I don't know because I'm a young guy. Uh, I don't have that much experience to explain those things, but uh, I understand that uh, at times of your life, you will be having tough situations where you cannot just can't find the time. What will you do? What will you do? All you can do is look at the total time you have on your day, right? Everybody in the per, in the in this world has like just 24 hours a day, just 24 hours a day, and uh, you look at into you look into what your ambitions are, what your target is, what defines you as a person, and not to compromise that. So understand the thing that is not going to work for you, and uh, put a specific time to each and everything that you have on a day. And there will be things that you should you should be able to adjust and uh, to uh, should be adapting into, but always, always should do like this is the time for this, this is the time for this, this is the time for this, and you can do that in many many ways. Like there are different productivity systems out there that you can adopt to help you into this um, this new pattern of life that you will be getting into or that or you are already in. So make use of all those patterns and uh, and uh, just be mindful. Just use your common sense uh, and not not don't go too hard on yourself. Okay, um, because it's all a mental game in the end. It's all what is inside his mind. Um, so what I did today is that even though I couldn't I couldn't work on anything in the morning, uh, what I did was uh, I made sure that I will be working out for at least 15 minutes. So I did a work workout session for 15 minutes, and just few push-ups at least. And um, towards the end of the day, after sitting on the chair for hours and hours and hours, I try to take some breaks in between. But sometimes you cannot. You just have to sit there uh, to listen to other people, right? So what I made sure that uh, around at around 7:30 or something, I just try to go for a run, just one kilometer just get the blood flowing and also it also influences your hormone levels also right because your body is moving it all comes down to the hormones in your brain also uh, so if you are trying to take find some balance between the stressful situations that you are into and try to overcome those by um, improving those hormones in your body that can be influenced by working out uh, talking to other people having a conversation with your friends you know things like that are just looking into a natural wonder just looking into a sunset just looking into a sunrise I'll just looking just outside a panoramic uh, view right all these things can influence you all these things may sound small and little but uh, all those things can actually actually make the day better so understand the situation that uh, you are in and uh, try to figure out a plan uh, and uh, don't try to hard on yourself but there's always there's always uh, a way out and uh, you just need to um, go through that charade oh I don't know if that's the word uh, go through that uh, um, those tough moments and uh, try to try to always improve on yourself and work on yourself and in the end I will I totally believe that uh, you will make situations better you will find solutions you will be you will be up for new challenges and uh, to, throughout the day I was uh, actually uh, saw one thing on the internet uh, uh, which, which is actually called from Joe Rogan which I like to uh, read out to you all today um, it says uh, it says like this we all started from nowhere we all had bush jobs we all felt like felt like uh, losers but through time and effort you build a stronger human you build a stronger body you build a stronger mind you build accomplishments and will and momentum and then you look back and you go hey man I'm not washing tables I'm not washing uh, dishes anymore. I'm not cutting uh, lawns. I'm not digging ditches. Yeah, I'm a different person now. 
what I used to be. That's all I wanted to share with you all today. And I will see you on the next episode tomorrow. Take care.